Hey guys, so this is a quick tutorial how you can position your elements into the slider revolution and make sure that it looks good in different devices. So yeah, currently I put a slider, uh, a slider revolution um in the home page and if you want to edit that certain slider you can simply jump into the header section called slider revolution and click to the um assigned slider there's also other options for you to open that by going to the wp admin okay and then go in here called slider revolution okay but i prefer to just use the front end because i can straightly just jump in and edit the changes on my slider on that specific slider okay so i'm going to click the slider revolution click the home page and then um you'll be redirected to the slider itself and if you want to adjust the um trigger of your devices uh, of your devices because there is a desktop, there is a notepad, tablet, and mobile view. So if you go to click this gear icon in here and go to the layout, you'll notice the layer area sizes has different triggers. So basically, if the width is at least 360 pixels, then they will consider it as a desktop. You can always change that if you want. If you want it to be wider, like 176, that's also fine. But yeah, you can definitely adjust the width and height of your rev slider um, by changing these numbers in here. So I declared here that if a slider width is 1024, then it's a laptop view, and this one is a tablet view, and this one is a um, mobile view. Okay, I can also, because there are some mobile that has a 500 pixel so maybe uh, i'm going to use 500 pixel there okay you can also adjust the sizes so if you think this is too wide this is too long for you i mean the space is too um wide or or, or long then you can change the dimension maybe i can have just 440 pixel and it's adjust automatically and if i go into the notepad section and i think this is too wide and i can um change that to another three two hundred eighty okay and again while you are make sure while you are changing the height and the sizes you also need to um check the right um devices in order to see the preview okay so here um my tablet i'm gonna change that i think i'm good with this one i just need to change the position maybe i'm good with that and for the mobile um if you want i mean this space is too much then i can just change that to 350 perhaps okay so you can um save that and some elements here are still messed up, so we'll fix that later. Um, let's go back with the desktop view. And when I'm trying to, um, when I try to change some stuff in here, I always use the keyframes or the keys in my keyboard because sometimes when I drag it, it also affects the other devices. So I, I keep it as a practice to use the keys when I am moving the elements. So yeah, so here's the image and I also group some of the elements. If it is has a same um, positioning, then I always um, prefer to group it versus on selecting it one by one, okay? Or you can also select it if you want, but if you want to move it all elements at once, then putting it into a group would be a best option okay so we're already good that make sure you save it and then i'm going to jump into the desktop um, laptop view right now for the um we'll change that because we have two space in here so i can change it i can put it in there then for the button you move it more um yeah like that and for 
the tablet. So the tablet kind of messed up. So there. Okay. And and I think here for the tablet, I may prefer to make it um full column instead of one by one. So I'm probably gonna change this, put it over there, and make this one just something. Prefer to just make it and make sure you are in a tablet view so others will not be affected. Like when I select the desktop, it's still the same. Notepad, it's still the same. But when I'm in the tablet, the layout is different. Okay, so I'm going to drag that up and we'll change the positioning to center. And for the button, I'm going to put it there. I mean, I you can also drag that, but sometimes for some reason, it also affect the other devices. So I just prefer to just use the keyboard um, up and down or arrow keys. And here, that one, this is too close. Yep. Okay, let's go back with the mobile. Okay. Here, can just. I always I'm using. By the way, again I'm using the arrow keys, keyboard, and there. So if I open that again, when I try to do it, there there it change to different position and again these triggers you can always change these triggers in here if you think um maybe you want the the width of a mobile to be a little wide a little bit wider like 520 then feel free to change that part in here aspect ratio as well you can this is more advanced part but i um you can also turn on some breakpoints in here if you want to, but since my design is super simple, I just prefer to keep that way. There is a tutorial from um, Strider Revolution, I believe, for that. I'll try to put on the link in the description below for more information. And I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Have a great day.